if you'd like to see how I achieved this green uh, <clears throat> eyeshadow look and with a pink lip, just keep watching. So for this look, I have already done my face and I'm just going to be doing my eyes. And I've already primed my eyes. It's Mirabella Prime. Now I'm just going to take my Naked 2 palette and I'm going to use um, the color Tease, which is right here. I just have to be careful because they're um, falling out. And I'm just going to take and put it all from my crease and my um, lid all the way up to where my brow bone is. Then I'm going to take the color um, Booty Call, which is this color, and I'm just going to take it from the inner corner of my eye and just bring it about halfway across my lid. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to my Coast, uh, Coastal Scents 88 um, palette and I'm going to go in with this um, is actually a crease brush but I'm using it for eyeshadow uh, or for my lid. Um, I'm going to go in with this olive green and I'm going to take it from the middle of my eye outward and make a V with it. I'm just going to take my other mirror because it's easier for me to see. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my Naked 2 palette and um, go in with the color Half Baked, which is this really pretty um, gold color. And I'm going to take that and right in my crease, I'm just going to put that. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to take the same half-baked and I'm just going to line it right underneath my waterline. As close as you can get it without actually getting it in your eye because that obviously doesn't feel good. And then I'm going to go in with um, my snake bite which is this brown. And I'm going to take that, and right above where I put that gold, I'm just going to take the fluffy end of my Urban Decay brush that comes with this palette, and just kind of bring that up until right below where I'm going to put my highlight for my um, brow bone. And then next, I'm going to take the flat end of the same brush that comes with the Urban Decay palette, and I'm going to take the color Foxy, which is this um, just matte um, cream color. I'm going to take, and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone. Now I'm going to actually go in, and I'm going to take this green that's right underneath the olive green and it's just it's a um it's a little bit um brighter of a green and I'm just going to take that and put it right on the out outer 
corner just to brighten it up just a little bit. And then next I'm going to take this, like a white, and I'm going to take it with the same um, crease brush and I'm just going to take this and put it into the inner corner of my eye just to brighten my eyes just a little bit. And then I'm going to take my fluffy brush and again I'm just going to make sure that the edges are nice and blended. And now I'm going to go in and I'm taking, I'm going to use my NYX um, Liquid Black Liner, which I love this. The brush is really wonderful and it's just really great. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to line my lids. Okay, so now that I've finished my eyeliner, so this is what it looks like. I'm going to go in and line my bottom lid. And I'm using this star, uh, Starlet Eyeliner in black. And it's actually titled Black, the Total Absence of Light, which is kind of cool. But I'm just going to go in and line my waterline. And I'm only lining it about halfway because I don't want to make it too um, too dark. So now that I've lined that um, my uh, bottom, I'm going to take and I'm actually going to go in with my Mega Length um, mascara from Wet n Wild and it's in the color C143 which I believe is just like the basic black and I'm going to take um, and put it on my bottom eyelashes. And then next I'm going to go in and before I curl my eyelashes, I want to make sure that the eyeliner is dry. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to go in with my Meat Matte um and this is the Matte uh, Batali, and it's actually um, also from an Ipsy subscription, but you can get it in the Meat Matte palette. And I'm going to go in with an angled eyeliner brush, and I'm actually going to put this onto my brows. And it's this really nice matte brown, like dark brown color. And once I fill them in, I'm going to go in and take my same fluffy brush that's from the Ipsy subscription and I'm just going to run it over my brows to make sure it's all blended and that there are no harsh lines. Now I'm going to move on to curling my top lashes. And now, just to complete the look, I'm going to take my um, NYX um, lipstick in T Rose. And so there's the completed look. And if you liked this look, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.